YouTube and welcome to another video. Today we are reviewing a Yaoi. Um, disclaimer, Yaoi is Guy on Guy uh, anime. If you are not into Guy on Guy or if you do not find it adorable, then I would recommend um, leaving quickly. <laughs> um, oh, and also I have live with me. Um, Hello. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start off this review um, with spoilers. There is a spoiler alert. And um, yaoi warning. So click off this video if you're not interested right now. I do not care. Click off. Okay, now <laughs> let's start with our opinions on Ginger Aromatica. Actually, should we start with the plot? The plot of the anime, or...? Yeah, probably should. Okay, so the plot of the anime is... Well, the f there's actually three different stories in this anime. Um, one between Misaki and Usagi. One between mm. Hiro and Nowaki. And one between... Uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't care about the other two. The other two don't matter. <laughs> I remember one of them starts with an S, and the other one I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't care. Yeah. It's it's these two. You, you and Shinobu. There we go. There we go. Um. Okay, so we'll start with the first couple, which is obviously the one you see the most, which is these two. Mm, yes, my favorite. <laughs> so, these two, um, the smaller one with the green eyes is Mizaki, and the bigger one with the purple eyes is Usagi. So, let's start with how these two characters met. Um, Usagi was in love with Mizaki's big brother, but was quickly rejected in the worst way when he couldn't even say how he felt by his crush Us uh, um, Nisaki's brother getting married to his girlfriend and that tore Usagi up and Misaki was completely worried about him um, because Misaki already knew that Usagi had a crush on his brother he knew that for a long time and Mizaki also did like Usagi, so it was kind of a love triangle in the first episode. Um, when they first meet, uh, there's another warning, <laughs> actually, thinking of this anime. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't say this. There is slight pornographic imagery, slight. but... No, yeah, no, I don't think... Mm. I mean, like, it's slight, because they don't actually show anything that bad. Maybe. It's but like that stuff that they show for women. It's literally softcore porn. So, <laughs> warning there. I don't um, think what they did was softcore. <laughs> so, when they first get to know each other, um, Usagi is actually teaching Mizaki so he can get into a good college. Um, but, Us um, but Mizaki quickly starts getting feelings for Usagi after Usagi rapes him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the first episode, well, it's not really rape, it's just inappropriate touching. Um, I won't go into too much detail, because I, I definitely do not want my account banned from YouTube. Yeah. Um, anyway. A lot of reach arounds. <laughs> um... Basically, this picture. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There's the reach around. <laughs> okay, so while he is teaching Mizaki, Mizaki quickly uh, falls for him and is too embarrassed to tell him because of obviously Usagi is in love with Mizaki's brother and will always be in love with him. So when he finds out that Mizaki's brother is married, Usa uh, Mizaki grabs Usagi's hand, rushes out the house, 
and they're alone in the street and this scene is so fucking powerful and i wish i fucking had a picture of it because this scene every single time i fucking watch it i cry my eyes out don't go too far we might some- <laughs> find something you might have to oh yeah that's very true shit <laughs> you never know man that's that's very true um but Usagi and Mizaki are in the street, they're by a light post, and Mizaki is crying his eyes out for Usagi, because Usagi is too strong-willed to cry, and he refuses to show his emotions, but for some reason, Mizaki, a 19-year-old boy, wait, was he 19? I've, he was 17! A 17-year-old yeah. boy! Yeah. <laughs> could see past this 20 something year old guy's fucking heart and it was just it was really emotional and he's just crying and suddenly Usagi just kisses Misaki trying to calm him down and just hugs him and it's just a really really sweet scene so Misaki's brother goes to live with his wife after this whole thing and that leaves Mizaki to live with who <laughs> just to guess might might be a slug <laughs> sorry i just can't uh okay so while they're living together Mizaki is convinced that he's a replacement for his brother and um, Usagi keeps touching him inappropriately, and Mizaki's pretending not to like it and stuff. And there's even, like, scenes where Usagi is complaining because Mizaki won't tell him that he loves him. And it's just really sad, because you can tell that Usagi really cares about Mizaki, but Mizaki has such low self-esteem, and he's such a idiot, basically, that he can't see how much Usagi cares about him. Yeah, don't mm-hmm. say anything. I just... <laughs> I know I'm what you were thinking. Explaining. What do you want me to say, alright? We're waiting to get to my section. Okay, so, first couple, what was your opinion on them, Why? Uh, my absolutely favorite for a reason I shall not explain. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we'll move on to the next one, which is Hiro, uh, Hiro and Noaki. And these two. If I could fucking tell you how much I love these two together, it, it just. Nothing could fucking explain it. They're just so adorable. So, this backstory is pretty fucked up as well. Um, Niwaki, Hirowaki, not Niwaki, Niwaki has a different backstory. Hiro, um, basically is in love with Usagi. And he was in love with him ever since they were kids, they were childhood friends. And the thing that happens between them is... Hiro gets used by Usagi to replace Mizaki's brother. And that has stuck with Hiro and he's just completely broken. And he starts crying in a park one day. And reminiscing about Usagi. When suddenly, um, (laughs) this guy, Noaki, runs up to him because he shot a rocket at him. (laughs) <laughs> a toy rocket <laughs> yeah he runs up to him and he's just like why were you crying and literally this scene it's all right you he's crying and look he's just there this is when they first meet and they already have like this weird connection about them <laughs> <laughs> so uh n- this guy, Noaki, he's like, he follows Hiro home and asks him, can you be my teacher? I want to get into a good college and I want to be able to 
you know, move on with my career. I want to become a doctor. And Nawaki already has his plans figured out. He just wants Hiro to help him. And, um... It's just really sweet. And then, while Hiro is teaching Nawaki, he realises something. Nuaki has been working with six different jobs trying to get money and then he quit four of them so he could spend more time with Hero. And that that's really sad in my opinion. The fact that he gave up his work to be with the person that he loved even though he knew that Hero didn't love him back. I mean that's 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 so <laughs> pretty beautiful thing though yeah it is really fucking deep and then usagi comes to visit um there was a good picture here <laughs> they love their reach arounds <laughs> um then once usagi comes to visit this scene happens because Nawaki grabs Hiro and he says, sorry, Hiro needs to come inside because he's trying to protect Hiro from crying. He knows what's happened. He knows he would get hurt. And he covers, he purposely does this with his hand so that Usagi doesn't see the tears. And once they go inside... Nawaki just goes, okay, you're not going to figure it out, so I'll just come out and say it. I'm in love with you. And it's just so adorable. The fact that... The fact that Hiro was so fucking oblivious to the fact that Nawaki loved him. And when he, found, uh, and when he finds out, Nawaki hugs him and says, Can I be the replacement of Usagi? And obviously, Hiro freaks out and chucks Noaki out of his apartment. And Noaki obviously isn't happy about that, so he goes to his job and he gets spied on by Hiro, who gets jealous when a bunch of girls touches him. And <laughs> I I like this relationship because it's like a sundir and a obsessive person who's very protective are together, and it's just really sweet. Like the fact that no uh, that hero is trying so hard not to show that he loves uh, Nuaki, but at the same time Nuaki is trying so hard to be with hero. And um, in one specific episode. A uh, hero finds a bunch of letters that Nuwaki has written in America for Hero, but was never dared to send them because it would make him too depressed and want to see Hero. And when he finds them, obviously Nuwaki freaks out and tries to take them away. And <laughs> Hero hugs them and says, These are mine, go away. <laughs> and it's just really adorable. Um, but, like, these two remind me of, well, two friends of mine, um, and I think that's why I'm so supportive and so, like, these two make me happy, these two are right for each other, and their age gap honestly isn't that bad, like, I think they have, like, a eight-year gap or something, I know that in this scene, um, Nawaki is, like, 18 or something, and, um, Hiro is, like, 23 or something. Yeah, and they, they, they age over, like, the entire show. Yeah, yeah, which is really interesting, actually. Each season, their ages are different, instead of, like, most anime where they're all just the same age all the time. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> 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 it's so adorable! Oh, oh he's so adorable! Look, that's so cute! Oh, well, it's the letters right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're just trying so hard to make things work, but at the same time, it's like, 
whenever they try too hard, it makes things worse. But, like, Nawaki won't give up on him, and Hiro won't give up on Nawaki, even though he tries to push Nawaki away. He's trying so hard to get distance between them. He even breaks up with him at one point, but he just couldn't go through with it, and he goes back to Nawaki crying, and it's just so, it's so adorable. I honestly recommend this anime to anyone who likes yaoi, or just cuteness. If you like cuteness in general, you should like it. Oh my god, sorry, this scene, I have to talk about this scene. <laughs> Every single time they get into a fight, suddenly Hero's just like, Noaki, I'm cold. And Noaki just hugs him and goes, I got it. And it's like, oh! <laughs> like, this is so adorable! Okay. The third relationship. Yeah. Now, as you can tell, we do not care much about this relationship. It's because it's bit. fucking weird. Very. So, the... <laughs> let's start with the age gap, okay? Uh, oh. The black-haired guy is 30-something. Mm -hmm. The blonde-haired guy is 19. <laughs> and I'm talking about at the end of the anime. At the start, he's 17. But they were the longest people to have sex in this anime. <laughs> I have to say that. Yeah. Everyone like, else has, like, sex yeah. on the first episode. Yeah, it took them a while to get there. A lot of arguing. They did have some really cute moments. Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> Don't get distracted. Okay. Don't get distracted. <laughs> I love that scene. Okay, so, um, this is Miyagi and Shinobu, and, um, mm -hmm. so Miyagi was engaged to Shunobo's big sister. That makes it a little bit more weird. But Shunobo is convinced, and I mean so convinced, that he moved from Australia back to Japan to be with Miyagi when he realized they broke up. I am not joking. <laughs> Damn, this, this, this couple, man. And when he... F and the reason he fought... He fought this, right? I, I need you to pay attention here. Because Miyagi stopped a group of people from bullying him. Now, no offense, Shinobu. But just because a person stopped a group of people bullying you does not mean you're soulmates. I'm, I'm sorry, they are really cute together at the end of the anime, but at the start, it's like, why are you in this anime? It just takes you away from the other couples. Yeah, it's like you have these two really adorable, really perfect couples, and then you have these two. And it's like, where, why? It just kind of feels like a thrown-together filler. Yeah, it does! And, like, I, I have to admit, this one got a lot of laughs from me because of Shinobu is trying to be a good wife, in quotation marks, and, like, he's trying to make Miyagi happy. So, <laughs> he tries to make him salad, and, like, he tries to make him fries and stuff, and he tried to make him pumpkin soup, and he's trying to cook, and he's crap! <laughs> it all comes out terrible. Every time. <laughs> he literally, on the first episode of them together, he cuts up a lettuce, he throws it into a pan, burns it, puts it on a plate, and forces him to eat it. And Miyagi is too afraid to say to him, this fucking tastes like shit, can we please just order out? Yeah, it tastes like burnt-ass lettuce. I mean, like, they do become really cute, though. I have to admit, they... 
after you get past all of the fucking shit that they go through, and don't even get me started. Um, so, <laughs> I'm not going to get into too much drama with this group, with these two, but, um, basically Miyagi is still in, well, was still in love with his dead teacher, so he has the same problem where he falls in love with his teachers or people who are literally ten or more years older than him. So bad. So bad. <laughs> But, like, the worst thing is, when Shinobu finds out about this, he just freaks out and doesn't even talk about it. He just rushes out, and I'm like, dude, she's dead. You're competing with a dead chick. Yeah. What is she gonna do? <laughs> Stop you? And, like... There's a few other things that make this couple good, because once they finally explained everything with the dead teacher, he goes to the grave, he holds up Shinobu's hand and says, I'm in love with him. And I found that so adorable. That was one of the most perfect scenes these two had. Yeah. The I, fact, I remember that. Yeah, it was just really cute. And, like, that kiss scene... <laughs> that was after they went to a pub and then they basically have a few drinks. Obviously, he's a minor, so he got coke. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> um, you know, the age difference right there showing. Um, and they go to the beach and Shinobu starts crying, saying, I'm never going to be as good as your senpai. I'm never going to come up to her. You're in love with her, you won't be in love with me. And I'm just sitting there like, she's dead. He just said he's in love with you. Stop making such a big deal out of it, you 12-year-old. He's <laughs> <It's> not 12. <laughs> yeah, well, he fucking acts like it. Yeah, he does, though. Oh, God. It's, it's like, what the hell? And then, here's a really fucked up scene. He pushes Miyagi away, and then he says, what do I need to do to get closer to you? Not push him away. <laughs> I'm like, dude, can you, like, stop? Um, but yeah, if you can get past the age gap, the constant bitching, the constant drama... Then this too, this couple is pretty good. 80% of their showing, pretty much. <laughs> and then that. Literally, the first time they kiss, he starts crying. Yeah, you're really fucking in love with him. <laughs> I'm like, what? And then... <laughs> I have to admit, when Shinobu is jealous, it's the most adorable thing ever. He was jealous of his sister, so he pushed her out of the apartment and said that Miyagi was head over heels for someone. Oh my god, I remember that. It was so cute. Like, Miyagi has someone and he gets head over heels for him, now leave! Uh, I, I, I approve of this relationship. Like, no matter how much, like, bitchiness goes into it, I approve of this relationship. It is not the best one. I am not saying that. It is by far the worst one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And obviously the best one is Usagi. Yeah. Considering they're the main characters, and, like... No offense to Shinobu, but he was really bland. He like didn't have much of a personality. I felt yeah, like everyone else had a personality. A special factor is what everyone had. Yeah, like Usagi was the fucking wealthy gets what he wants type of guy. Um, Nuwaki was a complete sweetheart who just wanted Hero to himself, and he loved him. And even, like, fucking 
whatever his name is. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> shit. I already forgot. <laughs> Miyagi! <laughs> I need to remember that. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. Even he had a personality. He was like the run-down, broken old guy. But that doesn't make it okay for him to hit on a 17-year-old. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Literally, it's him in high school. It's him in high school, and he's fucking in a relationship. And this is the last season that's been out, which means this is the oldest he is in the entire seasons. Not even old enough. <laughs> Still can't drink. Uh, but, like, there's just a lot going on in this anime, and obviously, like, Mizaki is the Sunde god. <laughs> Mizaki is, like, one second... No, in fact, I think Mizaki might be bipolar. <laughs> he, like, switches Probably. moods all the time. I wouldn't be surprised. But then, like, there's Hiro, who is definitely Sunde. Are you kidding me? The amount of times he's called Nawaki a fucking moron. Yeah. A lot. It's, it was, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Um, so, personally, I would recommend this anime, and I, I know for a fact that I would recommend this anime. Yeah, no, it... Uh, don't, I don't wanna... Do no, no, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, it... It made it made me buy. <laughs> I'm so proud of this. So <laughs> I said to Lai, I will make you buy because of he's when I first met him, I'm not I'm not kidding, Lai, you were the straightest person I, I mean, knew. I'm not, I, I wasn't like that you've heard what I said to Manny, alright? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you were the, you were the straightest person I knew. And I was like, Obviously. I was like, um, okay. And so I was like, okay, well, let's watch this anime. And the reason that he loves this couple so much, mm. Usagi mm. and Usaki, is because he pictures it as two very specific people. Yeah. Yeah. Him and his crush. And honestly, like, that's adorable. But it was my idea to do it, so... Yeah. <laughs> and I have that, to admit... It made the show a million times better for If me. you have a crush, seriously, like, just do it. Oh my god, no. I said that and I instantly... Mm. Like, I was like... Truffle <laughs> I swear, if there's a comment that's just like, just do it, I'm just gonna be like, what the fuck? You shouldn't know anything. Right, so from what we've said about the characters and their personalities, I would like to know which character do you think would be your favourite in the season? Um, so if you don't really like anime, you really shouldn't watch uh, watch this, obviously. If you don't like yaoi, you shouldn't watch this. If you so don't like if you do not like sex, why are you here? Hold on, wait. Before <laughs> we say anything else, put your mouse up. <laughs> why? Why? Just this up to the right? You mean here? Yes, what is that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want to see Usaki and Usagi married. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing to, to mention. The anime looks like... It looks different in, in like, what, the third season or second? Yeah, it's third it season. Changes. The reason third. it changed because of the third season came out a lot later than the other ones. And mm. they were also working on a different anime, which me and he and me and Lai started watching. Then we kind of stopped because of like it wasn't as interesting. What was it again? Um Sekai Ichi no Hasukai. I it's just I don't know. Here it is. Sake ichi hosukai. Hasukai. Hatsuke tukai. Yeah, so I, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't with that one. 
Yeah. I have enough patience. Like, it was good, but at the same time, it was so, like, a repeat of everything. At least it just in... just felt like I was watching the same anime, just different characters. Yeah, like, some bits were a lot better, but most of it was just, like... Why? Like, the characters' ages difference? A lot better. By far, mm -hmm. the best. The story's not so much. If you'd rather have an anime with easier, like, stories, like, closer age difference and stuff, watch this one. I, I personally won't recommend it, because when I watched it, I watched it because of it was the same art style as Junjo Romatica. That is literally the only reason I watched it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you have watched either of these animes, um, put it in the comments, tell me what you think of them, if you like them, if you hate them. Um, I'm going to recommend to mainly curious boys who don't know if they're like bi or if they're straight or if they're gay watch these animes you will be even more confused start for that one. Um, <laughs> okay so i'm gonna leave this here leave what other animes to do in the comment section i watch a lot of anime and i mean a lot if you have anime that is not as popular i have probably watched it i'm trying to get my favorites and my the ones that i hate the most out of the way first which is the reason i did attack on titan <laughs> i remember that one yeah i watched it today and i'm like God. You should review season two. Uh, <laughs> I don't Ask her to watch do season it. two. It'd be very enjoyable. If you tell me to do season two, I shall. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I love you guys. And yeah, bye bye. Mwah! Say bye bye. Bye.